right, so ESPN does their, like, simulations for the season, and they do, like, 20,000 simulations for each team to see how good they're going to do or how bad they're going to do and, you know, what's all the possibilities. I mean, you saw on this channel I did this with, I think it was a Pro Football Focus uh, season simulator. I did it 100 times, and it was wacky. They did it 20,000 times. And Coach's reaction right here says it all. To see a wide range of possible outcomes awaits the Cincinnati Bengals during the 2020 season would be an understatement. What's fun is dialing into one projection to see what happens, which is exactly what ESPN's Seth Water did while simulating the whole entire season. ESPN machines usually run 20,000 simulations to come up with predictive percentages. Water zoomed in on just one, well, 3,818 to be exact, and in that one, the Bengals don't do so hot. Okay, first off, first off, first off, first off. Why are they like this? Why is the NFL like this and the ESPN? Why did you have to look at the one that we didn't do so well in? I guess because you're saying like, oh, well, you guys are going to do good in all these, so we want to look at the one you didn't do good in. I just, I feel like there's a motive, like, you know what? Yeah, the Bengals, oh wow, they're doing really, really good. And all these projections, they're doing amazing. They look great. They look fantastic. Nope, that's not good enough. We do not want that to happen. Okay. Let's look at the one where they suck. Okay, that one, that one's going to be the one we smile right and talk about at the country club. That's the one that Roger Goodell, when he's golfing with his million bazillionaires, is talking about the country club. <laughs> yes, my Kansas City Chiefs just won the Super Bowl. Oh, did you see the Bengals? Yes, I won the simulator. ESPN did. And that simulator says they, um, they suck. <laughs> uh, well, nine, 19,999 times they were actually good. But at one time, they said they sucked. Roger Goodell personally wanted this one time <laughs> oh man i love it in fact the Bengals get swept by the ravens and lamar jackson only secures a berth in the wild card then lose to the ravens against the again in the opening round of the postseason so okay in the end the Bengals couldn't catch them the ravens won the division as 11 win team number three seed while the Bengals finish one game back as the number six seed. The rivals squared off in a third time in the playoffs with the resulting mirror mirroring the first two. Jackson flourished the Ravens sacked Burrow five times in a 31-19 defeat to send Cincy home. Five times. It, if that five times means that every single offensive alignment we have out or everything off its own we have, or out of that game, then that might make some kind of logical sense. But if we have Orlando Brown, Teddy K in there, Volson, Alex Kappa, and Jonah Collins, come on now. Have you, like, listen, listen. This is not me trashing the Ravens either. By the way, this is not me trashing the Ravens. The Ravens this offseason, they lost a lot of their pieces on defensive line. Calais Campbell, Justin Houston, JPP. Now, you might say, oh, Justin Houston, come on, man. He had nine and a half sacks last year for them. Calais Campbell, I don't know the exact number, but he had a crap ton of sacks. And he also blocks a crap ton of field goals for them. Right now, the Ravens' defensive line, other than Justin and Owe, they don't really have any pass rushers. They have David Ajabu, who's pretty decent, but he's coming back from injuries. He's never really sold the field as much. Then you got JB on Clowney. He's like 33 years old. But I don't think they're going to be able to get after us, in all honesty. I think the real problem will be Lamar Jackson running around and, you know, the weapons they have. But I will say overall-wise, only in a predicted, projected world would scenarios like this ever happen. For what it's worth, those Ravens go on to lose the Super Bowl against the Eagles. Oh my gosh. And hey, this isn't saying the simulation is an impossibility. 
Bengals fan all, know all too well the Ravens are very good, especially when the quarterback is healthy. That's the problem, though. <laughs> Do we not understand that Lamar Jackson has not finished the, you know, season the last two years? He has not f been healthy at the end of the season. Okay? He's missed the last two end of seasons with injuries. So... How is, and again, usually like, you know, when things like that happen, right? When things repeat themselves, you have to do something to fix that issue, right? Fix the problem. He got money. That's not going to stop him from re-injuring himself or getting injured throughout the season, right? And then possibly missing the end of the season again. So, it's only a simulation. And there's a reason why. I don't think that would ever happen in a million years. I don't think we're going to ever get season swept by the Ravens, in all honesty. And let alone if we play them three times in the playoffs. Now, I know last year in the playoffs, they did play us very well. And, you know, they almost beat us. But we ended up winning in the end because Sam Hubbard got that fumble for six. And we took care of business. But, I don't know. I don't know. I am, I'm just kind of laughing at the fact of everything. We're going to be six seed. So, if we're six seed, right... How many games are we going to lose then? Because it says the Ravens are what? Uh, the, as, a, uh, as 11 wins. So that means that the Ravens got won the division and got third seed with 11 wins. That means 11 and 6. Who? I, that would mean we would have to be like 9 and 7. I mean, you got, you got to think. Four seed then, probably going to be Jacksonville, right? And that's probably going to be at least 10 and 5. I mean, not 10 and 5, 10 and 7. That means we would have to be like 9 and something or 8 and something. But then also, you're saying that the Steelers and the Browns are going to be way worse than that? <sighs> What's the parameters of this simulation? Did Roger Goodell just say, oh, hey, <laughs> we want the Bengals to lose. Just put that in the simulation. Like, that's the rules. One simulation has to be the Bengals suck. Like... That's, that's crazy, man. Nine win season, pretty much. Nine and eight. And we get six seed in the playoffs, and then we lose in the first round to the Ravens. When I don't think Lamar Jackson is going to be healthy enough to play that first round for the Ravens. So, that means we're going to lose to Tyler Huntley this time, man. <laughs> Listen, last year we didn't have an offensive line in the playoffs. This year we have an offensive line in the playoffs. So, I hate to tell you that, but... Things aren't going to repeat itself. Last year, we lost Cheeto at the end of the season. We didn't have him for the playoffs. This year, we're going to have him for the playoffs. We have a lot more pieces for the playoffs. So, ESPN, you can keep that simulator. Keep those simulations. Send him to Roger Goodell. Have him have a beautiful, beautiful dream of, you know, fairy, fairy tales and rainbows of what could be the Bengals not going to the Super Bowl. But guess what? Not going to change a damn thing. Who day? Who day out?